If you wanna farm extra tier 4 materials, leave your alliance. Leave your alliance now. I just did it. <laughs> Hello gang, welcome to the channel and today we're gonna go through a video on where you should invest your gold in this specific period of time this week, the week is ending, you have like two or three days more but yeah, pretty much it's the perfect period to burn gold and get premium rewards such as tier 4 materials or Odin's Blessing and yes, it's the event of the Alliance uh, that you're getting some extra points there. I uh, have talked about that, but I want to showcase specifically for everyone who has a lot of gold and want to burn it. Uh, I'm not suggesting for new players to burn gold for this because th our game has a lot of things to burn gold. But in this video, I also leave my alliance, as you can see. And uh, yes, for you knowing already, yeah, I left my alliance, but there is a reason for everyone to leave from their alliance, you know, you have to talk to the alliance first, but yeah, pretty much I'm gonna explain what I'm talking about. Let's go through this, smash like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and let me know down below in the comments if you already do this trick or you are going to start doing it after seeing this video, and also if you get lucky with any audience blessing lately. So, the story is uh yeah I, i'm still in my alliance by the way if you're wondering uh i am still as you can see i'm still at 40 <laughs> 40 worthy world uh beast uh, okay I, i'm i'm getting confused sometimes okay so the point is that this this time of time uh, this period of time you can spend 1 million gold and get 200 tokens and you can do that once per day but the moment you uh, burn, you know, leave the alliance and swap alliance, you have the donation again. So you're trying to getting advantage from that and, you know, get some gold to spend here. It's like 1 million this every single time you are creating an alliance and what I'm talking about. What I do is what you just saw here. I'm leaving the alliance. Uh, you have to talk with your alliance, of course, if you want to join again in the same alliance, you know, you do not drop the alliance like that. Uh, you're creating a new alliance after you leave your alliance. You need to be careful and your alliance don't wait you to score weekly uh, for, you know, uh, alliance tournament or they are waiting you to uh, participate for alliance tournament or something. You need to be careful. It needs to be before the weekly reset. If you are before in the week of the weekly reset and you don't care about alliance tournament, so your alliance is not a top 16 of alliance tournament, you have no problem doing that for one day. You can leave your alliance, you can make your own alliance, go there, get the donation, go back into the store and you go there and buy nothing because you can't buy two times the things. You can buy everything only one time. And the moment you create the alliance, after you donate, you delete the alliance. And that's all. You spent 1 million gold to delete alliance, 500,000 uh, 500, to create an alliance. So in total, it's 1.5 uh, million uh, gold and in exchange you're getting 200 alliance tokens so the more times you can see here in this video you can see i have 353 million gold and the moment we're talking i have 190 million i have 190 million gold so i spent like 150 million gold for that uh but guys believe me it's totally worth because you can exchange actually this gold with uh, tier 4 materials over time and you know already after the alliance conquest uh, the alliance conquest rework alliance already exists yeah you, you need to figure out different names every single time you need to do that you, you have to spend like 40 minutes to one hour and collecting 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 tokens if you consider that you want to farm like 20,000 tokens you need to do this this like 100 times so this takes a lot of time, a lot of time, 
and a lot of millions because 100 time if you go 100 time 1.5 millions 150 million 150 million and you have 100 times 200 tokens so you end up having 20,000 tokens for the amount of 150 uh, million gold with this way even if you don't participate on Alliance Conquest, even if you are in an alliance that your alliance is not playing Alliance Conquest, uh, but uh, you know you can't, you don't have a really good build on your characters, and you can't go there farm these tokens with some way, you know, uh, this is a really good reason because with this option unlocks you these two hot babes here, uh, three two hundred each each week. So it's week, you can come here and redeem this, it's 800 per month, 800 per month, it's no joke generally speaking, you know, I'm not suggesting to get live seeds or anything else than this and perhaps this also, I'm getting daily also this too and this and also the boost points. You need to be careful because the moment you press this, the boost, pain, the boost points is added to your uh, amount of uh, boost points you have. So if you have 10, you're gonna lose, you are not gonna go more than 100, so you're not gonna get any extra rewards. So with this way, even if you have an alliance, uh, even if you are in an alliance like I am and you're playing consistent alliance tournament, you know, perhaps one week someone leaves, you wanna do some changes in the alliance. So you're talking, you're communicating with your leader or with the other members and suggesting them to do the same and you're doing a vote you know and you can get yourself monthly 800 uh tier 4 materials and the point is that this is the only way in the game that you can actually spend gold and get tier 4 materials so why not why sleeping on that whatever you think uh, it's gonna happen you know there is no something it's no one is gonna ban you or something in the first place i was like Oh my god, this is kind of cheat, but after I, I consider that you have to spend all this gold, so you need to play and farm the gold and after create all these alliances, so it's kind of fair, you're spending gold for tier 4 materials and this is the only way in the game to do it. Also, this period of time, there is an event that you can go and unequip Odin's Blessing for half the price, but the really serious thing is that you can actually go and also craft combine the Urus you have right now in your account and get Odin's Blessing through that. To get Urus and all this stuff, you know, there are multiple reasons, there are multiple ways, but one really cool way to do is instead of spending for this period of time, you know, instead of spending to create cards and stuff like that, you can come here and burn them down crafting Urus. Urus through crafting, totally worth it because you can see here I'm getting multiple five stars, multiple four stars, and the amount of tier three or the amount of tier two materials I'm burning, the mutant materials are really important, you know, if you have to do other characters or you wanna get your card set better or anything like that, you know, you should consider save your tier, your mutant materials and build the characters. I'm not suggesting you to go and do that. But if you are lucky and if you wanna try, you know, you wanna try your luck and just spend also gold, as you can see here, you go there, combine everything into six stars and there is an event that there is Odin's Blessing acquisition chance increased. This is something we should have for every single material in the game, to be honest. We should be able to uh, combine our, uh, you know, our cards to get, to have some chances to get P cards, you know. If you, if I could burn C, uh, obelisks to get CDPs, or if I could burn uh, cards, normal 6-star cards to have some chances to get P cards for one time per month, you know, I would I would farm more <laughs> I would farm more the game for custom gears I would farm more the game for P cards and you need to consider that the pool of the P cards would be you know something really small and uh, just P cards to reroll the P cards we already have because in the state of the game right now having an extra P card it's not that important you know giving us some P cards to just reroll the other P cards that we already have and working on it's not really really big deal. I really call devs to fix the craft shop and also add this kind of event 
for custom gears and also for P cards because it has been like multiple years we have the craft system we don't actually gonna save ourselves having one more on one less CDP or a P card so why not giving them like you're doing for Odin's blessing you need to consider that an Odin's blessing in one character doesn't really matter that much so you need multiple of them a lot of them to make impact on your account and difference on the scores but you can see that i did took all of this like now and yes there, there are some uh, there are some points that you can figure out how many i did took but let me show you some clips this is actually from my live stream that i had uh i went through slowly uh but i had really good luck there and uh, as you can see i'm getting Odin's blessing again and again and I took like uh, five with spending like 100 of the six star Urus let me find actually <laughs> the moment yeah like this I took the strike in general I spent like 150 156 star and I took five only Odin's blessing and then I was like you know what I'm gonna gather all my resources and I'm gonna try more uh, when I was at office the other day so let me show you the results on that I went like crazy you know I opened all the locked Urus I have I suggest you to lock Urus also here I took a lighting damage you know the lighting damage all attack are really the rare ones right now because you know it's the one that uh, you, we just took it's new and generally I have some small clips because I went crazy on the other's blessing you know I was trying to go for more and more and more I have some fails you know you can see here I'm grinding and I'm not getting anything and to be honest you know sometimes you need to count uh, you know if you're seeing someone uh, tries for more and more and more and he's getting lucky or unlucky you have to consider yours for yourself I'm not suggesting to anyone to go there and burn their resources to uh, you can see here I'm unlocking the energy and the physical attack and I'm trying to get advantage of the multiple six stars I have like I have 87 of the physical attack I'm not gonna use them anytime soon so I have like 306 uh, 25 there took one more here it's the eighth I had already get five into my live stream and two extra after here I was crazy lucky getting five in a row so you can see there you can be really lucky and it was like only 40 i burned 40 urus and get five and before i had burned 100 and i get only five too uh so yeah this is not like the same every single time you could cry you could smile the game plays with us generally and of course after you're saying you know what let's burn some more let's burn some more let's burn some more and you could get like on that you could not another two here so in total I'm like 12 Odin's blessing I have burned a lot of Urus I can't even count how many I have burned you can count yourself but uh, it's really really a lot of resources and a lot of gold that I'm spending on that and yes, I'm not sure if this is worth uh, for everyone, you know, as you can see, I can be lucky, I can be unlucky sometimes, here another two in a row with not full amount of uh, Urus spending, you know, uh, I saved the clips just to show you that the game cannot be all the time, you know, it's not always like you are waiting to get, you know, here I burned all my resources again, and I think I took zero so this is all from the same event you know a couple of days now actually uh, it's not like I did that on a different date or something you can see the luck can go uh, with you or against you here I burned so many and took zero Odin's blessing so for you out there burning your resources and getting nothing you're not alone everyone has that too uh, but I can give you an advice on that go into channel 69 yeah it's weird I know but feels like channel 69 on Urus combining it's super hot and helps me get my Urus uh, all the times so let's unlock some physical attack again and some HP I guess and some energy attack and let's go for 40 uh yeah 40 as i did on the video let's burn them down and let's see yeah 
four more audience blessing with 40 so every 10 urus i'm getting one this is amazing luck you know uh you couldn't uh it's not like everyone is going to get the same luck with me let's save the energy now and let's save the hp too and let's try one more time oh i have 70 so oh it's 70 but these are not locked so let's be careful and not burn them all uh because i want physical attack here you can see it's not like you're getting lucky every single time you can get unlucky so let's see here with the last one i lost the count of the audience blessing but i took more than 20 100 percent and you can see i'm still getting them so yeah do not sleep on the event if you have burn if you have gold to burn and you are in a state of the game that you don't want to you don't know what you do with the gold uh this is a smart way it's the only way that you are actually getting premium rewards out of nowhere there is no equal thing to pick cards and they should add something like this you know combine like 10 of these and have some chance to get a pick card or same thing for uh obelisks i could burn all my obelisks to have some chances to get whatever CDP, even if this CDP is good, to reroll the brilliant CDPs and stuff like that, or craft combine them, etc. etc. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Is about time for them to do that? I mean, it's really, really late. Um, they need they need to fix something similar to the other materials, and also the tier 4 materials, it's something everyone is doing, guys. Do not sleeping on that. I only get that if you are like in top alliances, like uh, alliance tournament alliance, that you can't lose one week. But if you wanna get, you know, if you can talk with the others for from your alliance and let them know that in the next event you should try that and sacrifice one rank, you know, one week of ranking on alliance battle, or you know, sacrifice something else. Of course, you have to be careful and do it in a period that you have to you are not into alliance conquest or alliance tournament so be careful before do what i'm saying but the materials guys are so sweet and you should not sleep on them it's for free just grind some gold and get them yeah that was it for today i hope i helped you decide what you're gonna do with this event are you gonna spend are you gonna you know just save and yes hope i you learned something today and you're gonna do it to form some more tier 4 materials see you into the next kisses in your faces